drummer alert. He hasn't showered for ages, calls his mum, A-B-U-S-I-V-E, for saying he stinks. I didn't realise playmate Tessie had a electric boogaloo, or that somebody existed on social media that wanted to follow in the footsteps of Amu Haji, the world's dirtiest man who unironically died mere months after having his first bath in 60 years. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the video that was posted by Drama Alert, including a follow-up video, which affords us the opportunity to go and look at this creator's TikTok profile. Their profile is Jasmine Is. They have over 100,000 followers, and they did it in a very short space of time, less than seven months, according to one of their own posts. Now they have three posts that are pinned to the top of their page, but I'm going to show you a few other videos that may lend credence to the description of It's Jokes Stop Getting Mad. We live on the internet and it's very hard to tell what is or is not a Poe. However, sometimes what is often touted as a Poe has some truth within it. You can tell when someone's on camera whether there is truth, I promise you that, or whether something is an act. So I'm going to show you the first video that they have pinned that Drama Alert tweeted out before we get to some contradictions. Can you please take a shower? No. Are you being serious? No. You smell. I don't care. It's been weeks. Okay. It's only Look at you, dude. It's only Come been 19 on. days. Why are you being abusive? Let's take this seriously for one second. If you're an active individual, 19 days will kill your muscles. Clearly you're not. Let's take it seriously for a second. That voice in the background you're claiming is your mother. Interesting. Because in a separate video, you did this. Hey, you Um, this is officially my mother's own. This is her. Um, her body was transported to Tijuana to get cremated. It's actually cheaper versus doing it in the country. So, here she is. She passed away in a car accident. And here's her remains. This is her now. We could have afforded funeral. Do you have two mums by chance? You don't really explain it in other videos, by the way, even ones where you're crying. And I'm not going to play that because I'm not entirely convinced that this is your mother. Others in the comments had said, why is your nurse in the background pretending to be your mother? Something which was actually in Drama Alert's tweet as well. 19 days is a long time to go without a shower. If you're afraid of water, I can understand it. You could always get baby wipes out if you must and have what's called a horse bath. I'm not being abusive. You literally smell. You stink. And? You smell like ass. And? <laughs> Please take a shower. No. It's against my religion. <laughs> really? I'm assuming I'm not the only person that heard that laugh in the background, right? This is why many might think that there's some truth to this being a series of skits. Certainly the views that this gets, it's quite a convincing one. And when you're online, if you know how to milk the right audience, it will garner a considerable amount of attention in the short term. People will see what you do. Some might even go so far as to feature you on websites like Twitter or World Star Hip Hop, which we'll get to in a moment, don't worry, because they did. We'll finish this video first. That laughter, though, is important because it really does lean into this being a Poe. But again, if you've been on the internet long enough, it's really hard to tell, especially when they look like they do not wash. Greasy is quite prominent. The clothing doesn't help either, and that clothing features in the majority of the videos they put out. It's like it's a costume to them. Just take a shower, dude. I'm serious. No, I'm not Please. showering. You smell! I don't care! You reek! What do I get out of showering? How does it benefit me? Um, you smell good, you feel good. Come on, dude, like... You reek. And? You smell like butt cheeks. And? The amusing thing here is if this is true, then this person does in fact live a very lonely life. They would have to be chronically online to say so, so, so. To look after oneself is vitally important. Hygiene is key. People are less inclined to want you in their life if you yourself can't even look after yourself at the base level. It starts with hygiene. You can include weight as well. If you have both, which you do, you show your belly off in enough videos on your channel page, 
to lend credence to the belief that that laziness is prominent. If, and it's a caveat, a very important one, if this is in fact not a joke. Bruh. That's but disgusting. Showering wastes the water bill. It wastes money. We Why don't pay the water. It doesn't matter. But still, it wastes money. Take a shower. Buying stove. Take a shower. No. Take a shower. You're not going to make me shower. You smell. You're abusive. You're a bad parent. Man, you. Now that's video number one. You garner enough notoriety, you get attention. I mentioned World Star Hip Hop. Here's how they handled it when World Star Hip Hop ran with this. First of all, World Star, why are you misgendering me? I am not a goo. I am a transgender biological woman. Why are you being transphobic, World Star? And also, why are you posting my business? I did not give you permission or anything of that. There is a completely different discussion to be had about being transgender biological female, but if it's a joke, it's a part of the shtick, right? As far as Worldstar posting your business without your permission, you have posted on a public platform, which means others can gain access to what is there, and criticise and judge, if they so choose to, regardless of whether or not it's a joke. The problem you have is, you're young enough to be part of a generation that many now look down on for being an absolute fail, an unmitigated disaster, one that needs to be scrubbed from the board and restarted because no one's going to progress to the next level as long as you guys exist. And we're worried for the future, okay? You play on the idea of introverts and make them all look bad. Why are you posting me and y'all worried about me and what my mama got going on? I know I don't like her because she's trying to keep me out of the house in two weeks, but at the end of the day, why are you, why are you worried about me? Why are you posting me on your little Facebook? I don't think world star hip-hop is remotely worried about you. Your future, your existence, or anything you do, say, or think, really. I think you've posted something that can be spun, which benefits you because more people will go and see your content. You have posted analytics for your content onto your TikTok. Additionally, this is somewhat contradictory, because you did post a picture, this picture. Now, this picture is you on your TikTok stating you have no intention of addressing videos criticizing you. I say it's a slight contradiction because if you're going to be pedantic, and there are many within my audience that will do it, this world star hip hop thing is not a video, but it is criticism because they can use it to frame a wider point about the current generation. While dunking on them, it benefits you. Although it can still be argued, you are still a literal nobody in the grand scheme of things. Now, video number two, actually ties into a comment you've made in this video concerning your mother. Air quotes around that word. Because consequences, right? Okay, well let's play that and see how it works. I have two weeks till my mama kicks me out the house. Um, she's apparently saying what I'm posting, she doesn't like it, and you're disrespectful. Even though I didn't do nothing to her, and my content is my content, and I'm not gonna change my content just to live in this sh like shack. You may well live in a shack because you could improve the situation and you choose not to because your content is your content. Apparently that is a tautology and a priority over one's life. That's interesting. We're still operating under the idea that this could be a Poe. Don't forget that, guys. It's very important because their mother, who happens to be dead, apparently, who also happens to be their nurse, apparently, is removing them because they are shaming the family. I'm just impressed that this particular creator, Jasmine Is, had the balls to make merch. Because what people want to do, even though you only ever wore the shirt once, is not only see you dance around in that shirt, which is on the screen now, but also buy it with your greasy face on it. But yeah, I have two weeks, I have to October 5th, and my mom's putting me out the house, even though I do pay rent a little bit, and I'm not living here for free. Yeah. So, I'm not surprised you pay a little bit of rent, because I doubt you're making all that much from TikTok. Their creator fund is hardly ripe with coin, even the views you get, hundreds of thousands per upload. I doubt you're pulling in much, because ads aren't worth all that much over there. Although, it is still money, which does surprise me, because you say you're going to crowdfund, fundraise, to try and make things a bit easier with the transition of you getting your own place from a shack, to, I assume, another shack. Perhaps you'll go with one that's a studio flat, no bathroom required, just a poop bucket in the corner. Now this is all interesting because 
not long after you made a separate video because you wanted to upgrade how you make your content by acquiring a new phone, which seems a bit counterproductive considering we're on a countdown here. I'm getting the iPhone 16 Pro Max, even though my mama is kicking me out the house in two weeks. I don't give a damn. Um, at the end of the day, I need the iPhone 16 Pro Max. I need the newest iPhone because I'm a celebrity and celebrities must have the newest things in life. Though I may be almost homeless soon, I still have hope I will find a place and somebody will take me in and we can talk on like prices, like how much is rent, etc. It's interesting you say you're a celebrity and need to have the best of the best because of your celebrity status. There are people on TikTok who have millions of followers, tens of millions in fact, yet they will pass unnoticed within society because they're still a literal nobody. There is a Senegalese footballer called Sadio Mane. He plays for Liverpool, or did, I don't know if he still does. Now he has $10 million he earns annually, yet he still carries a cracked iPhone 11. And the reason why is because he uses his money to help people back home. Because he worked the fields, he played barefoot, didn't go to school, now he earns enough money that he can start to give back to the people who helped him become what he is. So he doesn't have Ferraris, he doesn't have the diamond watches, because he believes he should do more to help others. Now, in his own right, he could be argued to be a celebrity of a sort, right? The reason I mention this is because it's a fundamental understanding of priorities. Yours are to use your position to generate additional income so you can buy the best swag for yourself so you can continue your LARPing as a disgusting, odious, obese individual, right? For the joke, because there's no way this is anything but that. Other people have their priorities in more humanitarian aspects, knowing what hardship truly is and taking advantage of the opportunity and the gifts they have. So basically for these two weeks, I will be like raising funds. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get like any, any coins like I possibly can. Dead when I'm on the streets. I, I don't know what I'm about to bring. Um, I know I'm definitely gonna bring my iPhones and I don't care what y'all say. I know I'm gonna be homeless, but on the 15th, when I get paid a Q coin, I will be buying the new iPhone 16 Pro Max, even though I will be on the streets. But yeah, I'm gonna buy the iPhone 16 Pro Max. And even if I'm homeless, it doesn't matter. I still need the newest iPhone. As the countdown is yet to reach zero, I'm yet to be convinced this is anything but a joke. Some kind of TikTok soap with just one person in front of the camera all the time. Now the third video they have pinned on their profile is a swerve. This one might have people wonder a few things. Questions will certainly come to the surface. Hey everybody, so I have a pregnancy test. I just got it. Um, basically, I've been feeling very nauseous and also my belly has been craving things I normally don't eat. So we're about to find out if I'm pregnant. So, and before y'all be like, aren't you a guy? No, I am not. I am a transgender biological woman, so what that means is I have all the female anatomy parts, I have all the biological women parts, I had the surgeries, I have a natural born female private and I also have a uterus so I'm able to conceive children. Now if you're about to become homeless, air quotes again around another word, surely as a soon to be mother or possible mother, your priorities should be on making sure they have a roof over their head and that a doctor can get near enough to you to help you without having to wear a hazmat suit. And also the plus sign is for pregnant and the negative is for not pregnant. So we're about to find out. I am pregnant. It's a faint line though. <laughs> Y'all can see her right there. I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm pregnant. I'm actually pregnant. I'm so happy. I'm crying. This baby, it's gonna increase my SSI. It's gonna increase my EBT. They're gonna increase all my government benefits because of me being a mother. I'm happy. Back in 1997, yes, a while ago, when the Labour government came into power, they made it so that it was beneficial for you to have lots of children to receive state welfare. It became a massive joke over the years until the government in 2010, the Conservatives, 
introduced austerity and a cap on benefits eventually. It led to much argument about human life and absolute and relative poverty. You claim to live in a shack and you're about to be evicted from that shack. You also claim to be pregnant. Oh dear lord, this really is a soap isn't it? On that subject of soap, you did release one more video I want to show and it is because you've had a shower and you had to make a big deal out of it. Which does in turn lend credence to the belief that you may well have not had a shower for some time because you did look a little different. Although it could simultaneously be argued that the clothing helped with that. Hey you all, I will officially be taking a shower, so watch the full video to see me because I'm going to show up before and after. This is before and then y'all going to see me after I'm showered. So I'm like, oh my god, Jesus, taking a shower? I don't know, baby. One thing about me is I take long showers because I'm not trying to sign. So yeah, next clip is going to be the shower. Babe. I have officially taken a shower. I took a shower for like two hours. That is. Um, yeah, it was two hours because I started my shower at 7 and that was like 9.30 on the clock. I have many questions. Far too many, in fact. I don't think I have enough time within this video to articulate all of them. Two hour shower though is quite the waste of water. For somebody who complained earlier about it, that did seem also contradictory. The pregnancy thing is fascinating. I'll agree to that. I'm pretty sure this is all still a po, one massive act. If it's not, you are as dumb as Playmate Tessie and you being used to drive home wider points about bad parenting. Well, you're not helping. Let's go with that. Let me know what you think, guys, in the comments. Poe or not? If not, why? If you think they're a Poe, I think they might be a Poe. Why do you think they're a Poe? Although it should be fairly... You know what, I'm not going to say obvious. That That's rude. Anyway, as a final thing, I'm going to stream on Twitch later. Hope to see you there. If not, have a wonderful day. And thank you all very much for listening.